to my master, he has been the biggest role model in Bookbridge. His perspective and thoughts always make us proud. Even this couple can tell you why he is so organized. Hello everybody. So my name is Kumail and I'm a teacher. I'm a craft speaker, class elected again, and thanks to love with However, along with this, I have many problems that mental health oh, issues, endless homeworks, and most importantly, sleepless nights. Which is why I want to ask from all of you, is it really okay to sleep late? No. no. Why don't you find your answer? Let's look at study. Earlier this month, I asked every other speakers in this room how many hours they sleep each night on average. And there's up to six to seven hours, which is really bad. Maybe some of you think that sleeping on less is an advantage because it gives you additional time to complete your unfinished task or can you use your time. But the consequences are way too worse compared to the time you get from not sleeping. If you get six to seven hours of sleep a day, it will have negative effect on your mood, memories, and due to the depression. Also physically, it will, it will cause high blood pressure, diabetes, strokes, and new cancers. That can be bad. Also, studies show that 72% of teenagers are getting less than eight hours of sleep on school days. While the American acumen of sleep suggests the teenagers that have eight to 10 hours of sleep. This kind of frustrating. It's not easy. Now, there's one of the consequences, which is really simple and real. It can scare you. In 2014, a lawyer put the and died after staying awake for 48 hours with chaos and stroke. Later, search found that the victim was one of those who sleep six hours a day, which means he had 4.5 times increased strength, I mean stroke rate, than the person who sleep eight hours. Now, let's all work on a case which is more related to us than others. Imagine, it's almost midnight and there's a student who's going to give a super important exam in the morning. But he is become comfortable that he has been learning the same stuff for the last three hours. So, the question is, what would you do if you were here? Maybe most people should learn to live your life because this seems to too important to you know, right? But believe me, it's better to get away from your book, your reading, and have sleep. Of course, learning online might help in your imagination. But in reality, are you even sure that you can remember what you learned during the exam with poor sleep? Even in fact, Given an exam with poor sleep is just a sentence, give it a try. And just like this, there are hundreds and hundreds of reasons why you should overcome your sleep equation. So as lately, I have been trying to be part of 27 percent of users who sleep 8 hours a day. And in the process, I realized that there were some essential problems that must be solved if you are able to get our sleep equation. And the first thing is please. At the times I was supposed to sleep, I was just playing on my phone or scrolling on Facebook. But speaking from science, it's recommended to get away from your screens at least one hour for bedtime. Even though I knew that my action was wrong, I just kept excusing myself like, hey, to me, let's just have fun tomorrow. And then all the tomorrows I said, yeah, almost ever. And the same is the regularity. After almost endless tomorrows, I finally decided to take control of me and change myself. But the first day was easy. 
because it took me pretty long time to skip just because I didn't get this. But just after reading the week, I had no problem for skipping for exactly eight hours and the schedule and time. And what I'm trying to say is nothing's just gonna work in an instant. So please be patient and try to take yourself. And just kidding, no matter how many times I and other speakers in this room speak, nothing's gonna work unless you start your own net. So please, ladies and gentlemen, from now, from this evening, when you get home, are you gonna start your own net? Let me remind you one last time. Now or never.